have to move this a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to Okay. Uh, Laura. A little bit more to uh, Dina's side. Health Medica, right? Which side do you have? Oh, we're going this way? Actually, no, yeah, let's go over here. Be careful, we have a chiropractor who's probably judging every move you make. 30 seconds. Get that artwork. I can just get that. I got this. open, why not? Just the way it is, yeah, the way you've got it right now. How much time? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Beach are green. Wait, is she coming up on? Sending kids back to school can also have kids sending home a few unhealthy ailments. Dr. Rizai from uh, Medi, where is it? Health Medica is here to save the day and nip these issues in the bud. Thank you so much for being here. All right, so we have, uh, at, at this time of the year, it's about backpacks. Kids are piling things in their backpacks, and of what course they like potentially could be coming home with back what pain. Tell true. us about that. Well, what happens is that during this time of the year, uh, kids think that they have to take the entire bedroom to school with them, <laughs> That's right? very true. All their books, everything, they pack it up with their, uh, with their laptops and everything. So we tend to see kids in our, in our office where... Um, tend to hurt their back. Mm -hmm. one, uh, one out of every two kids actually experiences some sort of back pain as a result of these heavy back One out of two kids? Yeah, so 50%. 50% of kids actually, the statistics is out there, that experience back pain. Wow. This time. Yeah, so we want to be careful about this. So what is something that we can do? As a matter of fact, Sandy Grant, our producer, she's here bringing me this Rogers backpack. Perfect. All right, um, earlier I took my bag and I weighed it to see how much extra weight I was actually carrying and causing stress to obviously my back, my shoulders, my neck, what have you. And do you know what it weighed? Do you know? No. An extra seven pounds. And that's not including my lunch because that was a separate bag and not including all the electronics that I'm sure kids and students are bringing with them. So um, that's huge. It is, it is. So what, one thing we want to make sure about this backpack is it's good that it's canvas. We definitely don't want it to be leather because leather is already an extra. I mean, it looks great. It's, it looks terrific. But uh, it's actually, leather is heavy to begin with. Right. And then imagine filling it with more books and textbooks and all of that stuff. So we want to make sure it's nice. It's canvas. It's light. So lighter it's got, weight it's material. Got two something. straps. Um, this Rogers backpack actually doesn't have a padded Strap, so we want to make sure they're padded, okay? Um, what about the back, even? The back? Yeah, the back, sometimes they have supported back here. This one obviously doesn't have it. This may be uh, one of your promotional materials. It is a great backpack anyways, and that's just because it says Rogers. <laughs> it might be missing some of the features, but it's got the best feature right there. Um, okay, what else? What about uh, the pockets? Perfect. Uh, we definitely want to make sure that we have a backpack that has lots of different pockets. Yeah, why is that? Um, it's just that the, the weight the weight can be even exactly can be evenly distributed. Prevents shifting of the of the exactly, object size. Exactly, exactly. And if it's just one compartment, we tend to throw everything in there. Yeah. And usually, if it's one compartment, it's bigger. So we are like, okay, there's more space. I can fit more stuff in there. But if it's if it's got different pockets, then uh, the central compartment would be smaller. So it, it can take less stuff in. Um, so the other thing is that one thing we talked about is we want to make sure that we have a strap here for the weights. Oh, we waist talked about strap. yeah, yes. the waist strap. That kind of that kind of like stabilizes the backpack as opposed to shifting around. And I also read that it alleviates about fifty to seventy percent of the weight from our upper body onto our pelvis. Absolutely, absolutely. That that is great. Uh, but one thing that we want to make sure we have is that we want to make sure that it's packed light. Okay. Pack is light, and wear it right is the is the model that uh, the Ontario Chiropractic Association. 
nodes, and we want to make sure that the backpack is no more than 10% of the, of the kid's uh, body weight. All right. So that's one thing that we want to make sure. Well, sorry, sorry, 10% of the kid's body weight? That's right. What about typing? What about typing? I mean, um, you know, posture. Obviously, this is all in promotion for good, good posture uh, right. for our kids. That's right. But what about on the computers? Everyone's kind of typing down like this or it's on their Blackberry. That's right. It's terrible these days. I see uh, a lot of kids, uh, adults, you know, that come into my office and they uh, they have pain across their shoulder and their neck. They get headaches, and all of this could be postural related because most pe most people they work at a desk, including yeah. kids, right? right? So what happens is that because we have, we're constantly looking at this monitor, we tend to zoom in, and our shoulders tend to come in because we're typing, yeah. and then the chairs that are not properly designed, you know, not properly ergonomic, mm -hmm. so uh, people's posture tends to change. If, if, they, if they sit in that office chair for, or that student chair for like five, six, seven hours a day. Which is easily doable. Like, yeah. If and not more, because then when you get home, you're working even harder and longer. Absolutely, and so we want to make sure that uh, we want to make sure that we're con we're taking frequent breaks, we're okay. stretching. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we want to do the reverse of what we're doing throughout the day. For instance, if I'm, good, if, I'm, if I'm sitting like this and I'm typing like this, oh. and my head and shoulder tends to roll in, we want to we want to do the effects. We want to do the, uh, the the stretches that are the reverse of what we do for those five, six hours, okay? And so extending the neck back, bringing the shoulders oh, blade back, this is so, everyone squeezing the, the shoulder blades together. Everyone in the studio is doing it. They're Absolutely. feeling how good it feels. Absolutely. It does feel see. really good. Yeah. And I guess we should also look for um, a proper uh, seating. So chairs are important, getting ergonomic chairs and things like that. Absolutely, chairs are important, but we want to make sure that we, we catch We want to hear more, but we can't, unfortunately, we're out of time. I wish we could, but um, we're going to pay attention to not packing heavy. That's, That's the biggest right. thing. So. See you guys in a bit. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, for this Kate. Uh, Kate. Yeah. Kate, the, the pictures are already set up. So you've yeah. Two numbers, Kate. Yeah. Well, six minutes machine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.